after creating the dataverse table we need one intermediate that can connect the dataverse with the model driven that intermediate in dataverse we have the forms the views the dashboard the charts these are nothing just the interface that is used to interact the dataverse table data with the front end so in hey everyone this is prashant choudhury i welcome you all to my channel classic power app this is the third video of the model driven series in this video we will configure the forms and views so that that forms can be added into the model driven and we can set up our model driven application so how we can configure the forms let's see i'm just taking you to my screen here we have created the student table and inside the student table we have created some columns now if you go to this student table on this middle section you have this data experience that's are those component which would be used to interact the table with your application so we are going to configure the forms what is form form is something that allows user to feed their data and that their their data would be stored inside the dataverse table so we need to configure one form whenever you create a table there are three forms that come by default quick form card form and main form you will understand the difference of these three in the later videos of this series but for the simplicity we will create new form and we will use some main form okay and also let me do the duplicate okay here as i have clicked on the main form here i can give my form a name so i would say new student new student form inside this form whatever things you can notice here this would be the same that you will get once you run your app okay so on this screen you can see two fields are there name and the owner these two fields are the default fields they would be added whenever you create the new form or any form is created these two fields you will find on its own now you can configure or add or remove the columns into this so let's add a add age let's add date of birth let's add email and let's add photo at the top and that's enough and let click on this owner and i just want this to hide because i don't want this field to be visible on the screen so i click on this hide now i'll get these four and if you can notice we have some sections this is nothing just the form editor here if you expand you can see from here we can select the components components like in how what would be the layout of your form whether you want two columns in a single row or like how you want that layout to be look like so you can select any component whatever suits best to you so let an example for our age right now it would be just a small text type of field where we will pass our age but if you want that it should get some sort of another control then you can go to this component and go to the input and here you will have number input because we want that is to be numeric in format so we can use number input table column is our age bind with the column yes and then where you want this control to be populated in the when the application is in the web mobile or table tablet so we want this control what is control control is something through which user can pass their values 
okay so we'll use all three and make it done and then we can remove this field because we don't need this now okay and age and email let's try to see other control if anything suits best to us we have display also for the calendar we have grid like sometimes you need to add some sort of table inside your forms then you can add grid so these are the controls that you will find whenever you will update your form now let's save it save and publish saving and publishing is like saving is whatever customization you are doing it should be saved and publishing is like whatever customization you have done it should be available in the runtime of your app that's why we do the publish okay so there's a difference between saving and publishing so by clicking on this button i'm saving it and i'm also publishing it why i'm publishing it if in my app or at any place i'm using this form so whatever customization i am doing in this form it should be reflecting whenever i'm playing this app okay so it has been saved now coming back to the views leave so my form is ready and i can see this form here so it's of type main form and the status is on managed is no customizable is yes now we will create the view what is view view is nothing it's just type of a list that is used to populate the data which is stored inside the table so you, you can directly relate this with the list okay so we'll create again there are some pre-built list that you will find whenever you create the new table so i will create my own list so i will write my student student list and then i can hit on create here you will see there is one column which is already present it means whenever you create a list there would be some column that comes by default in this list later you can configure the columns whatever you want to add into this i want to populate the age i want to populate the date of birth email and i also want the image also you can also do some dragging and dropping to select the order of the column that you want to select and then it has been done now if you want to implement some sorting you can do that from here or if you want some other column to be popular here you can also create the col table column from this place okay so as i have already have the column so i'm not creating anything and then i'll do the save and publish you can also add it add some filters on this view if you want to by default it will show you all the records okay so that is how we can configure the forms and views here you can see my view is my student list and my form that i have created is my my student form so this is all in the configuration of forms and views in the next video we will start adding these forms into our model driven app so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video thank you